Hello everybody, welcome back to the reaction video. Today we're reacting to Bad Friends episode 241 featuring Chris Di Stefano. Make sure to subscribe to the in the description, check the general video, and let's get ready to it. It's, it's gonna be good. It's all cream, dude. I like Carlos. Carlos got a Carlos is in good shape on top. He's got a chubby little butt. Dude, he's <laughs> not, <laughs> not a chubby butt. It's a Brazilian butt situation. He's got a butt. You know, Carlos has got a butt like like yeah, a they, toddler butt. They, they yeah. hit him. I've never seen a toddler's butt, but I, <laughs> yeah. I'm taking your word. If I pulled out a picture of my three year old's butt and yeah, yeah. Carlos, you wouldn't know which one is. Yo, it's just that. <laughs> it's just. Uh, How many kids do you have again? Three kids. Three kids. Yeah. Uh, is one of the butts of your kids not good? What my um? Uh, yeah, my my uh, <laughs> that's, that's crazy no, they all got good butts. From you, yeah, no, 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 from their mom. Their mom has a their mom has a really good good butt, and all my kids were born with uh, tattooed lips on their ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> is, Ooh, he, like, did you request that, that or no, is that genetics? Out. It's genetics. Whoa, girl, wait, came, where's Andrew? Why isn't with... he here? Where'd he go? God, we both. Where's you know what's Andrew? the problem with you and I? Yeah, we both have the same mental disposition. <laughs> that like it just doesn't. There's no cohesive. Yeah, it's but that's random. okay. I like it. Here's the truth: it's 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 half the fan base. No matter what, because Andrew isn't here, they shut the pot off anyway. I do find yeah, it interesting that um, and the, can you cut this part out or no? Yes. Maybe. Oh, maybe. All right. So it's interesting that Andrew called me today, and he's like, "Wait, because you're doing this movie, and then like you're going to Cobbs and this and that." It's like, "Where you're not gonna be in town? We gotta back." Like, I go, "Oh, it, I it's I'm sorry. When you go out on and doing things, right? I fill in with another guy, but he's never done that." He's fitting in. He's never filled he, in with another person. Before, no? When he went to Australia to do that fucking thing with the fucking good looking whites, you know what I mean? What's yeah. it, the George Cena? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hugh Jackman. George Cena, the Hugh Jackman, whatever it was, you know what I mean? Whatever that, Stakanaka? Yeah, George, uh, yeah, George Stakanaka. What's that movie? Sticky Nicky. Yeah. Sticky Nicky. Sticky yeah. Nicky, dude. Yeah. When he did Sticky Nicky, I had him fill in four times or whatever, right? He's never filled in for me when I was on the road. Have you ever, have, give me one episode. He did it with uh, Little Dicky. Yes. He did one time here oh. with Little Dicky. At the last studio. Oh. At the last studio. The one with Kalila. Yep. Oh, he did? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Second well, let's one. move on then. <laughs> I actually think, I believe I even <laughs> co-hosted one with Andrew when you weren't here. Oh, 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 did he oh, I believe I've been, I'm, I've been mistaken. Yes. <laughs> you know, mistaken. people that don't have the good look. You know, you know a lot of comics that don't have the look. Yeah. Right? They, they, a lot of them don't make it. Mm -hmm. Right? But they still have the brain. Right. right? Mm -hmm. But then they, you know. Right. It's not about looks. It's about what, right. what you're saying. I'm just listening. Yeah, but I don't even know what I'm saying. Say right. <laughs> Why would you say right? <laughs> because I, I'm connected to you. Dude, we're so connected. We are, dude. What's great about Koreans is the uh, <laughs> a, a, a scent, they're a stinkless agent. A stinkless agent. We've talked about many times on this program. They yes. don't smell at all. You don't smell at all. You don't have a gene that could yeah. even make you smell. So that's, that's really? I still wear the color. They don't smell. But why? Because, you know, I, I like mysterious smells. Right. You know? And I like when people smells. walk by me and go, ooh. Yeah. Where were you? <laughs> and that's not even like cologne, they say. That were you right. in like a war or like, no, or like, you know what I mean? Did you, um, mm -hmm. were you mining or something like that? Right. You know what I mean? What about cigarettes? When you smoke cigarettes, oh. do you squat down as low as you can or do you <laughs> smoke standing up? Because, <laughs> like, for those it's people who doesn't know, when Asians, like, yeah, yeah, they strong. smoke, you know? they just I'm squat down. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> pretend that never happened. I'm gonna go past. I'm gonna go past it. <laughs> okay. Like okay. So, Dad, you know Charles Palmieri? Charles <laughs> uh, They're not even close. Yeah. Like, Charles Palmieri. Charles Palmieri. Yeah. Right. He wouldn't know. And you're like, what? Are you even listening? I'm listening to you. Yeah. Right. So he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. And you would. In say fact, my dad couldn't say a lot of things. No. You know, well, uh, Samuel now. L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me Yes, yeah, too much. I know too much. My people, you know, but he doesn't know much. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give me another. What's a harder one? Uh, 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 Benicio del Toro. Oh, forget about it. Yeah. yeah. Dad, you know Benicio del Toro. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm <a> Totoro. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, not even close. Yeah, really My dad wouldn't even know. Like, you know, I go name me one Beatles song. He doesn't even know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> he has no That's idea. A, he's out. <laughs> he's out of culture. Like, there's nothing. Yeah. Right. Have you seen a movie? Uh, I've never seen a movie. <laughs> he doesn't know what. You gotta hey, be fair. Wizard of Oz. He doesn't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? If I explain it to him, oh, I don't like. <laughs> there's a wizard a lot. I don't like a lion. <laughs> I don't like a tin tin. <laughs> like a tin man. I don't care. You know what I mean? He doesn't know. So, what would he watch then? What did nothing. he like? That's the thing. Fucking nothing. In fact, when he, two weeks before he died, is the... right? This is a sad story. How did I, I, I have said this story before, but but I never. But it's a different experience for me. You never go down the same river twice. What? 
So I'm saying, even if you sell the story again, it's a different day, different audience, different. You Nothing. never go. You never step in the same river twice. But people do. No, but then, but it's flowing <laughs> water, oh, no. so you never. So it's technically a different. If there's river. a river by your house, you've probably been in there more than twice. No, no, you step in. You know where I learned that from? Oh, Ancient oh. Joman proverb. Oh, really? Joma. Oh yeah. Well, then they were dumb. Yeah. Because it makes no sense. But anyway, um. <laughs> maybe not too. I want to make. I see. Sometimes I exaggerate, so I want to be. Be honest. I want to be completely honest. Be honest. Be accurate. A year before my dad died. Okay. I would have to say. My brother and I were in his house in Phoenix, Chandler, Arizona. And he was um, resorted. He's in a wheelchair now. He can't walk. Because okay. he got hit by a truck, right, or something? <laughs> didn't, isn't that, didn't no, something no, happen? No, 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 nothing. Stroke? Or didn't your grandmother get yeah, run over yeah. by a tank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. my aunt did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what you remember? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes I think about it like in the shower. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My my aunt got run over by a tank. <laughs> by a tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what a weird thing Wait, to memorize. <laughs> wow. That's what I'll Wait, tell what? people fun facts about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the most traumatic there... in my family's history. You know. Yeah. Is that serious? Like, who would I have to kill <laughs> for you to feel that to kind of motivate you to to wow. write the special of your life? That's crazy. Who would have to die right in front of you? <laughs> wow, what a question. Thank you. It would have to be a four-man death. A four-man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. For me to motivate me to make the best special in the world. Like what? The producers in here and Andrew? Everybody would have to hold back. No, 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 no. It would have to be my that's, brother. That's a hard one. My mother. Okay. Andrew. Okay. And four. Kalila. All four of them. Had dead. to die simultaneously at the same time for me to go, I, to feel completely lost. Right. Of like... Oh, I'm gonna kill myself, or I would definitely not stay sober. Okay. No, it'd be too traumatic for me. Right, and I would probably um, disappear for a very long time. I, I had to go through a it bender. Wouldn't be lost. So yeah. I already thought about it. Would it would be different. To last. So I would liquefy. <laughs> I would liquefy. I would sell my house. <laughs> no, I don't secretly hope that happens. I do the same thing. I, hope I don't secretly hope it happens. I hope everyone. I just have a. I, 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 just, can... I just have like an out. I know, but you right. Wow. Um, fantasy. So I would sell my mom's house, okay. right? Maybe not sell mine. I would like, like try to lick, like I have some other real estate I would probably sell. Okay. I would get as much cash as I can, right? And I would probably get um, I've never tried fentanyl. Okay. So I would just get like high grade fentanyl. Right. Um, I would get um all the liquor in the world. Mm -hmm. We it's just the whole thing, shrooms, acid, everything. Right. Right. And I would probably go it's into like alcohol. a place like Butte, Montana, because I was just, oh, there. just gonna go. And so when I was walking around Butte, drugs. Montana, I was going, "Oh, that's where I die," mm. right? In my mind, you know what I mean? Right. Like I found spots like, like there's mine, like abandoned mines. All the drugs. Yeah, so I'll just be in an abandoned mine. That's crazy. You know what I mean? With my overalls, yeah. no shirt underneath it. No. Right. And, uh, I, and I know already that your nipples, you have strands of hair that come out of your nipples. Exactly, dude. Yes. And I would not shave them. No. They would be like out. Right. Just swirling around. Yes. In, in the wind. Yeah. Right. I would have a bandana <laughs> on my head, right. right? I'd put one of those football kind of black, you know what I mean? Yeah, that. Well, you know how Batman did, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah Dark Knight? Yeah. Because he has to put the mask on, so he wants this area to be, out right. there. he wants this area to be dark, right. right? So I had no mask, I'd just have that with the bandana, yes. right? I would look really wicked. Awesome. Right? And I would just party till I gave out, I think. Black out his so eyes. You wouldn't, so you're saying you wouldn't write a special. But then if I survived <laughs> that. <laughs> a black kid invented the doorknob. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that? Go Google it. <laughs> that, was, that was actually the question. That guy. That, was actually that guy the invented the door fucking knob, dude. Um, what the hell were they doing before? They were dif the, difficult the to open. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But he made it, you know, and he made no money off of it. He just, wow. You have, and people just stole it from him. Like, oh, wow. Well, I, I, I could have thought of that. And just took it from him. That's very interesting. Let's go to Koreans. What did Koreans invent? Okay, Probably not much. Let's do Koreans. <laughs> um, let's see what did they invent. Um, uh, let's see. What did Koreans possibly invent? K-pop. Damn, All that's... Right. Uh, infection control robot. <laughs> well, now we're going to get in the future. They're like, oh, we well, fuck the past. You know what I mean? We the need, future. you know, everybody have an infection. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we need a robot to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Braille, t Braille translation. <laughs> That's nice. 
That's helpful. That's Infection huge. Control yeah. Software robot? that predicts cardiac arrest. Dude, you know how sometimes you're watching a movie. <laughs> Go into the future. You know, God, I wish this wrapped around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wish it wrapped around my whole body. They invented the wraparound that's, movie, dude. That's, that's, smart that's glasses reimagined. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't right. even huh? invent the smart glass. No. We'll reimagine it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 That's his software that predicts cardiac arrest. Oh, that's a. Good oh, look one. at this one: inflatable isolation wards. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> so you, you know how imagine. isolation wards yeah. are so on the ground. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's so stern, and yeah. you know what I mean, they're putting you in an isolation ward and they push you down the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, inflatable. that's incredible. It's so we big. didn't really invent anything. <laughs> a flexible screen TV. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things where we took other inventions and made it better. But that's okay. That's that's what you're good at. Oh, yeah, that's right. It, that's our. That's what what you were really going to town yesterday on that jalapeno cornbread, and the brisket, <laughs> and the mac and cheese. You really? Well, you, why would you? Why would you? You really yeah, just, just no because he had stomach problems all night. I heard him going to the bathroom all night. Were you? Did you really? That's uh, that's true. That's. <laughs> Could I be honest with you? I didn't. So I ate a couple of pieces, and my stomach has an instinctual alert system. <laughs> Right, and Kareem's it, invented that. Yeah, I know we did. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, and it's sort of like a um, queef out of your butt. Oh, damn. Yeah, you know I mean? it's not a fart. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's like this. Yeah, yeah. And my butt did that, and yeah. I stopped eating it. It's Smart. It's true. my system going. There's something wrong. And you didn't eat <laughs> again for the rest of the night. No, I did. Oh, I had okay. pasta. Right. Oh, no. so you just yeah, completely... I had a carbonara pasta. You ignored yeah. the system. I did. Yeah. <laughs> and I had a difficult night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sometimes you ignore the system. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. That was it for the video. Leave a like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments any videos you want me to react to. And peace out.